What's that now? Yeah, I know we're not in the basement. What do you think? I'm stupid. I told everybody where I was going. I'm going. I, I'm in uh, uh, not Seattle, Redmond. Where uh, I'm actually where Microsoft is. So like I'm in a. It's not a real town. It's like a town that was. What do you mean? How am I still talking even though I'm not in the basement? I think that's an absolutely ridiculous question. Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com, and on this special edition from a hotel room, we are going to talk about how we can block the Microsoft Windows Store app from opening on Windows Pro devices, specifically Windows 11, because there's been some changes. I mean, none of it makes sense. I, I ordered, I literally just ordered like 16 Pop-Tarts to the room. It's tremendous. Get Rubik's. Solving for the modern workplace. Okay, so when we want to talk about blocking the Microsoft Store app, right, we don't want users kind of going here and grabbing whatever they want, especially we could, we could just push these apps through Intune and make them available on Company Portal if we want to. So how do we do this? Well, let's go ahead and uh, we're on a different machine today. Let's start by heading over to Intune. So traditionally what we would do if we wanted to block the app store is we can just go to the configuration profiles. I will show you the um, setting. It's actually in the settings catalog. Uh, I'll call this store blah, 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 because it doesn't matter. And we add the setting. So if we type in store, uh, let's see if we can find it here. Microsoft App Store. So you would be able to essentially say, where is it here? You can disable store originated apps, require private store only. So um, what this would do if it were on is it would basically allow only the Microsoft private store. Now, there really is no private store anymore. So this would essentially just restrict uh, and you can leave it empty, right? So this would restrict anything from opening in there. Um, but the one thing about this is I'm, I actually am going to hit the learn more thing, right? So when we do require private store only, so first of all, you're going to notice um, it. Uh, so yeah, it does deny access to the retail catalog. It's not available in Windows Pro, right? So for those of us who are using, aren't using Enterprise, we can't take advantage of that policy. So what else can we do? Well, there is a registry setting I want to show you. So if we go to HKLM, Software, Microsoft, Windows Store, which is not there, we used to be able to add this key. And I'm going to do that now. Key, call it Windows Store. And inside here, we will be able to set a D word, uh, basically a D word value, and it would be called require private store only and we would set that to one yep there we go so this used to do the trick but and while it still works i believe in windows 10 pro it doesn't work in windows 11 pro um and yes i've given it time before i'm just showing you here you can leave that registry reboot the machine it, it, it won't work so here's the real challenge what will work one thing i found that worked really well is if we go to group policy oh, okay so in the group policy control panel we are going to go to windows settings security settings app control policies now what we're going to do is we're going to go to those package app rules and we're going to create default rules now you need these first so that you don't get locked out of other packaged apps this is very important that you start by creating that default rules now we'll create a new rule specifically for the store app. So we're going to hit next, deny everyone from using installed package app as a reference. So what we're going to do is hit select and we'll be able to just pick the store. So if I search for store here, Microsoft store, okay, next. And you can have an exception if you want, but I'm just going to hit create. And now there you go. So you have allow all apps but deny the Microsoft Store. So now we right click on App Locker and we export the policy. And we're going to call this No More Store. Okay. Close that. And we open that up with Notepad. Okay, so if you look at the first part, 
Um, actually, here, let me show you what happened. So by setting that, we have blocked the store, but we have access to built-in package apps, not that we're going to play Solitaire, Notepad, so we're good to go. So the rule basically says allow everything but block the store app. So what we have to do is we're going to need just this rule collection, the AppX rule, and just that part of the XML. So we'll make sure we copy that. So back in Intune, we're going to create a new policy, uh, Windows 10 and later, and we're going to hit Templates and choose Custom. We're going to say Block Windows Store Win 11 Pro. And I already have the policy there. I'm testing it, but I want to show you how to make it. So you hit Add, uh, call whatever, it doesn't really matter. Now the OMA URI for this, let me open up Notepad and type it out for you so you can see. So it's going to be Vendor Microsoft App Locker Application Launch Restriction Restrictions. Now you need the name of a rule here. I'm going to call this Store Rule 001. Could be anything. And for the type of app, it's actually going to be store apps and followed by policy. And that's it. That's your OMA URI. So we're going to type that in there. Okay. And now for your data type, you're going to select string and we're going to paste that value in here. Make sure you don't have any white space at the, the end or at the beginning. And that's it. And then you hit save and apply your policy. I have a similar policy already. So I'm going to come over to the policy I already created and assigned. I just did it to a test group, but you can see it was successful. And you can see here our policy has been assigned successfully, making this blocked on and just to show you we are on Windows 11 Pro. I saw some comments around this and other things saying, well, Microsoft is making policy and registry changes, try to force, force folks to use AppLocker or um, uh, Windows Defender application control. Uh, and that's not really a bad thing. I think it's important we start shifting our focus to putting protective measures around more explicit things like the type of application that we want to be able to launch or not launch as opposed to just, you know, maybe doing blanket policies. But that's a conversation for another day. If you're using Windows Pro, now you have a way to block the App Store. And yes, you can still push store apps from Intune. So from uh, sunny or rainy, I don't know, I keep the windows closed in here. From uh, Microsoft in Redmond, we'll be seeing you.